Pedri has his pocket picked by Gray. There is the perimeter defense going to work again. Gray whipping it out to Dolan, and Cornell will get it underneath to Hansen, who banks it home, and Cornell. Cornell shooting 46% from the field, 5 of 11. They look to add to that tally with Chris Manning dialing. And Cornell just went nuts. Williams leaves it for Gray, the touch feed to Baldwin, as Cornell trying to get it inside. Back out to Gray from Hansen, and he's up and in from beyond the arc. The third three for... Cornell shot 42% for the field in the first half. Hansen trying to maintain that, and he does. Cornell has scored 12 points off of Columbia's mishaps. They have an opportunity to add to the tally, and they do. That has it been quite the presence. As Williams three rattles out, and there to clean it up is Isaiah Gray. Williams leaves it for Boothby, who goes reverse. The handoff back to Williams from the corner. It rattles home. Baldwin is there to pick it up. So Cornell is back in business, having hit its last three field goal attempts, and you can make it four as the slippery Cornell run. Lots of possessions left in this game. Cornell's not going to slow down, but can't make it that easy. My goodness. Like against pressure. Nice dish by Nolan. But Cornell's been maintaining this 20-point advantage because of plays like that. As Columbia has quietly hit nine threes in this game. Really important. Murphy was a starter early in the year before he got injured. And just like Rubio Del Rosa has to step it up, and he has, but then it's a little bit too little too late. Hanson can't finish. Baldwin is. And a dangerous pass results in another takeaway. Raglan to the house. And that is what you call in early.